Welcome back to EcoStress Tutorials. This tutorial will show you how to install QGIS on macOS. Let's start by searching the web for QGIS. Click on this link. This will take you to the QGIS website. Now click this green download button. This screen will ask you if you would like to make a donation. You can do so if you wish, but if not, you can click skip it and go to download. Now on this screen, click the long term version for Mac OS. This will begin the download. Once it's finished downloading, navigate to your finder and the downloads folder. Here you will see the QGIS installer. Double click to launch it. This window will appear. Select Agree. Once it has finished loading, it will prompt you to add QGIS into your Applications folder, which you can do so by clicking and dragging. Now that we have QGIS installed, let's open it. Go to your Applications folder and look for the QGIS icon. Normally, you can double click on an application to open it. However, since we downloaded this from the internet, we need to open it a special way just for the first time. Right click on the application and select Open. This warning will appear. Go ahead and click Open again. You now have QGIS open. Now let's prepare our project for use with EcoStress data by adding base maps. At the top of your screen, click Plugins and Manage and Install Plugins. This new Plugins window will appear. Let's search for HCMGIS. Click on this one and select Install Plugin. Now you can close this window. Now, at the top of your screen, you should see a new option called HCMGIS. Click on this and hover over base maps. Here are your base map options. I'm going to select Google Satellite. Now you will see that a base map is present in our QGIS window. Also, on the Layers tab, we can see a layer called Google Satellite. You can practice toggling on and off this layer by selecting or deselecting the check mark. For now, let's leave it on. We can also use these navigation tools at the top. When this white hand icon is selected, we can click and drag to move the base map around. We can also use this magnifying glass with a plus icon to zoom in. Click to somewhere on the map to zoom in. Alternatively, you can click and drag to zoom into a selected area. To zoom out, select the magnifying glass with a minus sign and click on the map. Now, let's save our project. Select this blue Save button at the top. Name your project. And select a location. Press Save. Now you have QGIS all set up for use with EcoStress data. Thank you for watching this EcoStress tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. For more trainings, tutorials, and information, including a written version of this tutorial, go to ecostress.jpl.nasa.gov documents, which will be linked in the description.